What up, big time gang? Another Aragon. This is the new Millipede Max. I know they made a Turbion. This is the first one in GMT. And this blue, I had to have it. Super thick case. Got that Millipede Evo bracelet. But after the intro, We'll have it in a wrapped and on my wrist. Here it is on the wrist. And now it's time to talk about it. This is the Aragon Millipede Max GMT. Automatic Seiko NH34. GMT movement. It's got that Millipede Evo bracelet. Different case design. Way chunkier. And I will compare the two. But let's go over what this is. This is model A544. This one has a crown guard, which I've never had an Aragon with a crown guard before. This is something new for me from Aragon, at least. Let's get that clear of the hand so you can see the black Aragon text. I like the contrast with the black hands and the black text on that blue dial with the white loom. It would have been really cool if they would have done the black date wheel with the white numerals. But this is model A544. Like I said, Seiko NH34 automatic GMT movement pretty blue dial i don't even know how to explain this blue it's kind of like a, a mixture of like a powder and a royal blue very bright very good looking color um fixed bezel so obviously it's stainless steel like the case in the bracelet but it is fixed but it does have the engraving for the 24 hour markers which makes it look very good in my opinion Sapphire crystal, um, all stainless steel build, so all stainless case and bracelet. Screw down crown, which is signed with this crown guard that is also signed. And then we've got 300 meters or 990 feet of water resistance. So very water resistant. Exhibition case back. Showing that blue rotor on this NH34. So 42 millimeter case diameter if you're measuring from the 3 to the 9. 46 millimeters if you're doing the 10 to 4. So it is beefy. And then 15 millimeters thick. Which she's chunky. Then we have a 50 mil lug to lug. Not counting the protruding first links. 22 millimeter lug width, 8 millimeter crown. So good specs. Sapphire Crystal, this watch is $259, but right now Wing is doing a code. So you get $120 off, so it makes it $139, which is a good deal. I wish I would have paid more attention to the specs on this one because the chunkiness kind of kills it for me. I like the watch, but it is heavy. And uh, it's way taller than I thought it was going to be. Let's get the scale out just to see how heavy this is. I removed two links. 209. 220 with the two missing links. Now, this is the other one. I got these together. This is the Dive Master in Titanium. 150. So those 59 uh, grams make a big difference because this feels significantly heavier, way heavier. But yeah, so it checks out. So let's test the loom. I have not seen the loom on this yet. Let's see what the loom looks like. Give it a quick charge. Kill the lights. 
Okay, so it's just like the, the Millipede Evo. Same loom. Same indices as well. Nothing terrific, but nothing bad for sure. It looks good. So this is my Millipede Evo. You see it's got the same bracelet. GMT. So I'm going to let one of these go. Um, I guess... Whichever one you want, hit me up and I guess I'll make, I'll make, let the decision be that way. I'm going for this one to let go because now this is a new one and I really like this blue, but I don't need two millipede GMTs. So this one will go. This one's brand new condition, but you can see the difference in chunkiness too. The way this donut shape is done, it just looks so much more thin. This is like a big old chunk of steel. But uh, I like the look of the watch. I love the dial color. I like the uh, stainless steel bezel. The way that looks against that blue, the black hands, the black text that works. But anyway, stay tuned for photos. Let me know what you guys think on this one. And if you want this one, hit me up. It will be for sale. Or else I'll put it in uh, my waffles. So uh, have a good one. God bless.